Well, let's go ahead and open up this package. All right, so let's go ahead and open this guy up. Excited because this package actually came from a company called Disk Tech, and this will make it so I'm going to be able to mount my Dell R710 to my threaded server rack. Let's go ahead and get this guy opened up here. Get the invoice there right on the top. Go ahead and get rid of that. And then they gave me a pen. Which I thought was pretty cool. They gave me this pretty big box for what was inside, considering it was a very small box overall, but it is a 2U threaded rack adapter kit. It actually has a Dell part number and everything. And there was nothing else left in the box. Just bubble wrap and some packing paper. So we'll just get that set down. Let's go ahead and get this opened up. There's some tapes. We'll get my trusty blade. Open this up. Oh, it's pretty basic overall here. Um, we got the the metal mounting brackets. So, like the bigger ones are going to be for the rear. We have different size screws depending on the the threaded rack that you have. Yeah, let's take a look at the, the brackets here. So these ones here, these are actually going to be for the front. And they actually have two sets. Um, some racks, you would just need this, and that would be it. Other racks, you would need the other size here, which are actually a little bit bigger, um, just to help compensate for the, the depth and everything like that. So I, on the other hand, do need these ones. Uh, as you see, they do have the square holes, same with the other ones. This makes it so you can go ahead and actually use the uh, ready rails from Dell, which are set up for either square or round uh, holes. So, but these are actually pretty thick uh, stainless steel. I was actually pretty pretty impressed with how, how thick all of this was. Yeah, I mean, just... Those are going to be the two that I need to use. So we'll go ahead and go through everything and get these installed. I almost forgot about the installation guide, which I am going to be using because I have no clue what I'm going to be using. As you see, it's a Dell threaded rack adapters installation guide. Pretty basic stuff. It is a very simple guide overall. Um, it does have multiple languages, but tells you the kit contents and basically how to install it. Um, overall for this process it was very very useful um, I don't have any numbered guides for my rails like what they show here but uh, yeah I honestly was very happy that I had this guide so let's go ahead and we get downstairs and we will go ahead and get the uh, rail adapters installed all right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get this installed here. So I don't know if you guys are able to see it, but <clears throat> this server rack that I have here has actually only got threaded screw holes. Um, whereas, like on these brackets I just got, we have the square, which is now pretty much the standard here. Then we have some holes that are over here. So basically, we can actually attach it with the, into the screw holes and then be able to put our server rack into. What we have is the Dell R710 speed, uh, speed rails. As you see, there's nothing threaded on this. So basically, we need to be able to go ahead and get it attached. This is actually the right front. We need to be able to go ahead and get it attached, and you can't use that there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and get the adapter installed. Get that over there. We're gonna get the adapter installed and then we're going to get the rails attached, which then we'll finally be able to put a server over here. So, granted, I have this old Dell PowerEd 1950 here, already on rails, and it's tightened down for the most part. But 
this is probably going to get picked off of here soon. But let's get this going, shall we? So I'm going to use the instruction guide. I was kind of pointing it out in the earlier part of the video because I don't know what I'm doing with this and I need to make sure that I'm doing this right. So I kind of want to put it to be a little bit under this part of the rack, like this, where the this uh, 1950 is. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install these brackets here. So I was actually putting that on right, so that's good. So we're going to take the screw, so and my trusty screwdriver, and we're going to poke it through the hole. I'm actually going to go one level under the 1950. All right, so we got the adapters on there. Let's see if we can get a rail on this thing here. So I'm actually gonna push this up just a little bit more. Right about there. I don't want it to hit my car. I'm gonna have to move it back so I can actually get the rails. Let's see if I can get through. Yep. Okay, so now comes the fun part. So now the rails are supposed to be able to go ahead and lock into place. So I'll go ahead and show you the back first. Engage the back of the rail as it make sure it fully engages, fully locked. And then that's still not long enough. That's not good. All right, so that's going to be a problem. So I actually think the bracket needs to go a little bit further. I had a feeling that was going to be the case. Is that is not like it's still a little on the short side. Whereas if I had it like maybe here behind it, then it might be fine. So I'm going to actually flip that around. Nice and tight on the bottom. Nice and tight on the top. Look at that, that ain't even moving anymore. All right, so now let's grab the right rail. So that would be this one here. So beauty is with these rails is that they tell you what side, what direction. So this one is the right, right side. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. See if I can get this locked into place. And it's still not able to fit. That's actually quite depressing, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. Actually, hmm. Yeah, it doesn't fit. So it's still not long enough for me to get this rail on. 
even with the adapters that Dell provided. So that's not good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here for a minute and I'm gonna try troubleshooting this. Stay tuned. Hey there guys, it's Craig, uh, editing the video as you see behind me. I want you to know that this process honestly took like three or four hours. I did end up shifting the, the threaded holes actually forward a little bit to make it so it was the proper depth for the rails to fit. Um, which you will see in the video. I also went ahead and flipped around the um, adapters so that they are on the back. And then we were able to go ahead and go forward with everything. So here I am to pass Craig after he's already done all that. So clicky clicky, ready? And click. Nice and locked in. And then Clicky, clicky. Nice, steady, and the rail works. Yay, let's get the other side. All right, so this one also has a label on it, of course. That would say left front. So we'll go ahead and get this one attached. And the left front. So put the rear part of it first. Lock it into place. Doesn't seem to be wanting to lock into place for some reason. Well, that's okay. Try one more time. Well, it looks like the back one is locked. Or this one is locked. They're not locked, it's bent. Oh, you know, so. It's kind of latched in, anyway. But I think I already know why. It's not that it's bent. I used the wrong screws up front. For some reason, this one wants to be particular about it. There we go. I got it to lock into place. All right. Nice. Tight. Loose. No, not loose. Yep. All right. We are locked into place. All right, so we're gonna try getting this mounted. I had to turn this because if you didn't notice, my car's here. So we're gonna get this loaded up. Didn't quite hit the day of rails. Oh, come on, come on. Just barely off. Let's go. All right. Now, it should be, there we go. Oh, it's really a pain in the ass to get on there. Once it's on there, it's on there. Oh. There we go. One rack mounted. Oh, 5650. Whew. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, that was a pain in the ass. But it's there, it looks nice. I still have the racks for the other server. 
I'm just happy I got it installed. That was a lot more work than it needed to be. And that's it for the video, guys. I do hope you guys enjoyed this. If you had any issues with these rail, uh, these rail threaded adapters like I did, um, please let me know down in the comments down below. Anyways, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more content. Please uh, like the like the video if you want it if you want to. Dislike the video if you want to. Either way helps the channel out greatly. Also, there may be some uh, affiliate links down in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching so much. I do hope you have a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.